Good morning, gardeners. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. So, welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to show you how this whole system works. And it's very simple, uh, yet a little bit complicated. Alright, so. First, we start off in the fish tank. So basically, you put some fish in there. You got the pump, the pump pumps the water up into this filtration system which is in the back of it as you can see so it pumps the water through the thing the filtration and then the water comes out of this hose and goes on to the grow medium and I only have this here to uh, for an extra filtration but it works simply, you know, just, you know, as is. You know, your grow bed is a filtration medium. You don't need that there. But it's a good to have, you know, an extra way um, to get rid of algae and stuff like that that's going to be coming in through your system. Um, and then after that is all set, after the water comes in, basically, the water is going to fill up and go into that little hole right there and with enough pressure it's going to empty out the whole aquaponic system so that way there's barely any water um, in there if you do it right obviously I didn't do it right um, but learn from my mistakes um, and yeah on there correctly okay cool 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 and then as the water goes down it drips and then into the water I have this plastic bag here because I don't like water being all over my floor <laughs> from this system so if you want if you have a better way of filtering out the water so it doesn't get anywhere, everywhere, then go ahead and do that. I just use a simple plastic bag to control the water from splashing everywhere and getting all over the floor. Right. Now let's explain the other side. Also, I am using a pump, an air pump, and it, uh, it has six valves to it. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> basically, <clears throat> it's going to pressurize the air, just like any you know air thing, you know. And I also have this check valve to make sure the water doesn't leak onto the floor. Um, and just goes into the tank. Those are the air bubbles and stuff like that. All right, now let's do the other side. So the other side of things, basically, it goes through the tube just like that side. But instead, it goes through the PVC system, and instead of, you know, having a way of filtering out the water, you know, the entire time, the water is actually being filtered through the roots, and it's going to go through the entire tube until there is no more, right? And eventually all this algae is going to be depleted uh, because you know as we grow more roots the roots are going to soak up the algae and it's not going to be there as much but basically it just goes through each and every part of the system and it filters out and it adds oxygen into the water because the uh, the water is dripping down into the tank um, and for people that want to make a system uh, system similar to this I would suggest uh, plugging up any of those leaks and stuff like that before starting it uh, especially the corners it seems like the corners are what really leaks uh, at least the bottom ones do the top ones don't really do it as much anymore because I did seal it a little bit as you can see um, 
but yeah, if you want to build a system like this, I would suggest sealing it up like really good, uh, so, th so that way it doesn't cause leaks. Because once you start leaking, then you you can either do what I do and just like uh, plug up the corners with a grow bed, and it will basically leak into your grow bed, and you won't have to water it as much. But you also gotta remember that if you do that. You have a chance of overwatering, like I did with this plant, which is why that is there, and this is here. But uh, so just keep that in mind. Um, but other than that, it's a pretty good system. Um, it's just going to filter. It's basically another filtration system. So this is a filtration system, and this is also going to filter out all that bacteria and stuff because the roots are going to. Um, essentially take out any bad bacteria and then it's going to go back into the fish tank and the fish are going to be able to sh survive and live longer and possibly even breed and stuff like that so it's a really good system um, if you do want to try it yourself you just gotta you know get a few plants and eventually uh, you'll get started and this is great for people that um, don't really want to wait um, you know, wait about like starting seeds and stuff like that because you're, as you can see, you're once you wet this rock wool, it's always going to be wet. As long as there's water touching it, it's always going to be wet, <clears throat> and you don't have to worry about watering it. Um, so if you want to do like lazy gardening or let's say you live a very busy uh, lifestyle and you want to start a garden, but you just feel like you don't have time to water it and stuff like that, this is a great way of doing things but just remember that some plants can well they don't like to be uh over watered so the system doesn't work for every plant but it works for most plants and plus it's going to provide uh, nutrients for your plants the more the system grows and stuff like that but either way um that's basically how the system works um and yeah I encourage you all to do a aquaponic system in the future because it does very well as long as you know you do it right and even with this you know even with something that's just you know bare roots it's still growing you know there's still a little bit of growth right there but just because those roots are touching the water that allows it to soak up and you know start growing um, vegetables and stuff like or in this case strawberries uh, <laughs> but uh yeah so it's going to be doing very good very sh very shortly very soon um however you want to phrase that either way it's very simple to make a pvc system and it's very simple to make something like this you don't need this i kind of just added it just because i wanted to do a swirl for a swirl filtration system um, but I didn't end up executing it very well but it still works nonetheless all right but either way uh, and what I would change about this system is basically all I need is a ping-pong ball or a bobber to put on put on the bottom of that like where the hole was that I showed you earlier and it will basically allow the water to rise up and then whenever the water rises up it's going to go uh, it's going to flush out all the water that's inside the grow bed and it's going to uh, basically vacuum seal it and push it all down and then once um, the bobber goes back in the hole then the water start starts rising again and stuff like that so it's pretty cool um, and yeah uh, that's going to be it for this video, and I hope you guys got something out of it. Bye for now.